Hello everyone and welcome to The Break Run. My name is Frank. And I'm Matt. And my name is Kevin. And today we're going to be discussing the incredible Hulk coaster renovation at Universal's Islands of Adventure. So last time our rumors began circulating that Universal would do an extensive refurb on Hulk. So what they've done was they scrapped the whole ride and rebuilt it with new steel. So what was the business decision for doing such a big project on The Incredible Hulk? Well, I mean, personally, The Incredible Hulk is consistently ranked as one of the most popular roller coasters in America. Yeah. With, due to its popularity, it's consistently running through three trains, 365 days a year. Since 1999. Yeah, that, that is a lot of wear and tear on a roller coaster. Right, yeah. So naturally, the overall ride experience kind of was degraded from what it was in 1999. Yeah. So the coaster just needed an extensive refurbishment. Right, and you know, we rode it a couple times and it was just getting shaky and getting really dismantled. And yeah. you know, it, you could tell it kind of needed a revival. So that's what they did. They tore the whole thing down, rebuilt it. It's pretty much the same thing. And they're doing exp extensive theming on it, and it just fits into universal standards that they want to immerse guests every single attraction. And, and I feel like when this is going to come yeah. back, it's going to literally going to blow people away. Well, not even that. The marketing behind it has been genius. I mean, they basically said, "Hey, Incredible Hulk's going under refurbishment. See you next summer." Yeah. And everybody was kind of like, "What the heck <laughs> is going on?" And P honestly, people still don't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. So the interest, if they were to say, spill all the beans, put them all on the table, immediately people would kind of think, yeah, okay, that's cool, we'll see it next summer. But now that they're keeping it a secret, it builds the excitement and continuously excited hyped. throughout the entire refurbishment right, yeah. pyramid. Absolutely. Right. Period, I mean. I think that with that marketing strategy, it's definitely smart that they're being a little bit, you know, secluded and secretive with it. And same thing as Kong, which is also opening at Universal's Islands of Adventure this summer too. They've been so secretive on the ride. We have no clue what it's going to be about. So when we first ride it, we're going to be blown away because we don't have the set expectations of what's going to happen. Right. Right. And not only that, it kind of lets them market it as a new ride. Yeah. And with yeah. this summer being so competitive in Orlando with Mako and Frozen and Soren and all the additions coming to Disney's yeah. Animal Kingdom, like. Universal having Hulk and Kong under yeah. their belt is super, super competitive. Yeah. It's basically like this summer is going to be a theme park war between the big three Orlando theme parks. Right, exactly. And it just, again, goes back to the point where since Hulk is one of the most iconic coasters of all time, they needed to update it and refurbish refurbish it so it stays at that status as one of the most iconic because if it just, it's just falling apart it's not people aren't going to really view it as one of the best yeah. and they want to have they want to keep the title as one of the best yeah. coasters overall you know that that whole area of the park you can tell it's kind of getting it's getting a little old. dated yeah so by you know updating little parts of it at a time like with spider-man like yeah. with spider-man um you know they can kind of instead of tackling the whole process at once they can kind of do little bits and pieces yeah so that, you know, each summer you have something new or something like that. Well, now this kind of reveals an interesting trend. We've, we've seen wooden coasters go by the wayside. We've seen steel coasters go by the wayside. We've never really seen a B&M go by the wayside before. Exactly. Incredible Hulk, I think, was the first one of, if not the first B&Ms to go by the Get wayside. Get scrapped, yeah. So will, you know, will the aging trend of roller coasters, will we see roller coasters be rebuilt if they're extremely popular? I mean, or will we see them kind of be make way for something new? Um, I could see, I could see some ones getting definitely rebuilt, yeah. some of the more popular ones. Um, but I can also see some just getting scrapped and putting new ones up. Cause it, I can see that as well. Just cause with something new, you know, the general public's gonna love something new. Yeah, cause I feel like with all the older coasts, like the Arrow Coast from the 70s and 80s, they just get scrapped because they yeah. really showed, it showed its age when Hulk doesn't need to get trapped cause it's still of such a fantastic yeah, a great ride. Coaster. So I feel like parks are gonna consider like these coasters that they wanna keep around, but they really can't because they're getting older. Yeah. Maybe we'll just redo it. Yep. And I feel like definitely with the old older BM coasters, like let's just say Kumba at Bush Gardens Tampa, which is older and which is also running all the time, maybe that's gonna be a possibility for the future. It's gonna be really inter interesting to see. Well, yeah. it's something that's really hard to think about too, because if you take get rid of a coaster and then you build the same exact one in its place, that's you're paying for a whole new exactly. coaster. You're spending That's 20 much, million. Yeah, the exactly. same thing. The same exact thing. So is that 20 million, is that going to it? generate the profit that you're expecting it to? When right. Hulk would be worth it, but would it be worth, let's say, Kumba or just another ride? Uh, any you other? know, not as popular. Yeah. Exactly. All right, well, it'll definitely be interesting to see if this trend continues in modern theme parks. Yeah. But uh, let us know what you guys think. Do you like the Incredible Hulk being taken down and refurbished for the almost the same exact thing? How do you feel about the marketing for the ride? Thank you so much for watching our video. Please click thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us right here on YouTube for more upcoming theme park videos. See you next week. Bye.
拜。